You're eating that toast. Cos if you're not, I'll have it. <sighs> if I was on This Is Your Life, they won't bother with that big red book. This is what it's all been about. Les Batters, be. This is your life. Every step of the way, the good times and the bad. The quote were always there by my side. Brilliant lyrics. Things what I think about in my head, but can't put into proper words. It's just stuff all about life and, and love and that. Down, down. Deeper and down. Get down. Deeper and down. Down, down. Oh, There's no room for sentiment when there's cash involved. Stella's right. You'll be quids in, Les. I don't care what you say. I'm not shafting the granddaddies of rock. I think you're fine, yeah. The quote were there when I went. My first true love. Jacqueline Wills. We're about it big time, and all you can do is stroll off down memory lane. The right little skinny thing she was. Knees like knots on cotton. When I look into the sky, I see your eyes, a funny kind of yellow. I rush home to bed, I sunk my head. I see your face underneath my pillow. I thought I'd never get over it. Well, you did, and now you're with me. All my memories be meaningless. Now, listen to me. Life don't have the likes of us many opportunities, and when it does, We've got a grab and bite short and curlies. I love them guys. Stop being so flaming selfish. It's all take, take, take with you. I work my fingers to bone for this family, and I'm sick of it. It's decision time, Les. Me? Oh, quo. When are you seeing him again, then? Next time you go out. Well, you are not. Not in my bed. Oh, I'm joking. Well, don't come crying to me when it all hits the fan. Oh, give it a rest. You won't be the first poor little girl to get her heart broke by a married man. Janice, I don't have some sad little fantasies that he's going to leave his wife for me. We're just having a laugh. Do I know him then or what? No. Yes, I do. Er, uh, no, you don't. Yes, I do. Is it somebody that comes in calf? Ah, it is, isn't it? Oh. Right, well, I'm going to go through every single name until your face gives it away. Janice, go to work. Charlie Stubbs. <sighs> All right, then, that Mickey from Market. Ten pegs for a pound, love. He's always giving you glad I am. Him? He's as wide as he is tall. Bloke who delivers fish. <sighs> right, all right, all right. You win, I give in. But if I tell you, you promise me faithfully you won't say a word to anyone, right? Cross my heart. <sighs> it's Roy Cropper. Get <laughs> off! <laughs> Oh. Janice, ah, Janice, leave oh, it. it in. Give it here. Oh, I said, I Janice, don't recognise that leave number. It. Give it here now. I think I should introduce myself. I said, leave it. Hello. Hello. Well, I recognise that voice. Yeah, but it's not really me that you want to talk to, is it? Oh, yeah, she's here. Mm, I'll pass her over, shall I? Hello. Oh, hi, Jamie. Janice, I'll oh, take no notice of her. Oh, no, no, sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm still here. Um... Yeah, I miss you too and all, babe. <clears throat> Hiya. Uh, I'm Liz. Oh, pleased to meet you. You here permanent? Well, how come you're not in Echo Shop anymore? Oh, I think you must have got me confused with someone else. You've never worked in the Echo Shop? Not guilty. Well, you're a dead ringer for whatever her name is. You two could have been separated at birth. Good morning. Welcome. <laughs> and how is the luscious Lizzie this morning? <laughs> Fine, thanks. You? All the better for seeing you. <laughs> Did you ever see that film, The Stepford Wives? Uh, yeah, uh, the original. Only this is like the Stepford shop assistants, innit? <laughs> have you met me, daughter? Oh, I didn't realise that... <clears throat> Pop through the back, will you, love? Check on me Battenbergs. Don't want them flopping in the middle. Now then. Much though it grieves me, we are going to have to find you an overall. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be 
Oh, I'm me. Well, you're both very full and captain. Nobody's out trying to me in my big day. Do, 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 do. I know, I know, I know. Um, you're Jennifer Lopez. Oh, yeah, cos she's a Lancashire lass, isn't no. she? Think snottier, fancies herself more. Do you give in? Kelly Crabtree. <laughs> That's not where she's having a white wedding. Nobody be that big a hypocrite. <laughs> Have you practised signing your new name yet? Oh, what is my surname? Dunno. Anyway, what are you on about? I've only been going out here for five minutes. You're dead keen, though, aren't you? He's all right. All right, my backside. I've seen you looking at him all googly-eyed. Well, she's only interested in the size of his pocket. And the size of his packet. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> You'd go out with a tell her the honey if it took you somewhere nice. Uh, actually, I'm taking him out on Wednesday. Bought the tickets and everything. Oh, that's nice. Who are you going to see? Oh, it's this band. He's dead into him. He goes on about him all the time. <laughs> Admit it, you nicked them tickets, didn't you? Oh, they fell out of a cornflakes box. Uh, I queued for three hours. Thank you very much. Feet were killing me. Oh, what a nice gesture, going to all that trouble. Well, it was notable, really. I mean, we're in town, you know, I've nothing else to do, so... Mm -hmm. What do you like most about him? Oh, he really makes me laugh. Oh, I knew a lad like that once. Yeah, Ross Jordan. The face only a mother could love. He laughed me into bed, the little tinker. <laughs> I think he's got a really kind face as Lloyd, like he's got a generous soul. Yeah, yeah, he's quite generous as it goes. Yeah, he'd do out for anybody. Would he now? I think he sounds lovely. <laughs> yeah, well, I won't go that far. Oh, he's really got to you, hasn't he? Oh, no, don't be daft. Look, he's just a bloke. He'll probably turn out like Aunt Rest. So, um, how are you? Fine. You? Better, thanks to you. You did the hard bit. I took courage. Are you working today? Sarah says she'll talk to you. She's changed her mind. Well, seeing me with a smile on my face is bringing me step. Brilliant. Um, tomorrow night? I could cook you a bit of tea after, if you like. Sounds good. Oh, hang on. I've got something else on. I could pop round early evening, but I'd have to be off sharpish. Yeah, well, um, yeah, that'll be fine. I'm sure Sarah will be around. Sorry, I can't stay for tea. Well, it's only something boring like bangers and mash, and you're not missing much. There you go. Listen, lady, I want a word with you. Hey, Janice, bet you didn't know I still had this. A chewed up piece of chudder. My lucky putty. Taken from the window of Shelley number 36. Oh, you are one sad individual. Lucky putty? Don't ask. I don't want to do an asking. Bucklins. Minard, 1965. The first meeting of the world's greatest rock gods. Rick Parfit, Francis Rossi. Get home. Me and Janice went there on a pilgrimage in 92. That's when I got this. No! <laughs> I'd like to think I was someone amazing like Joan of Arc. Mm -hmm. I know who I was in my past life. Doris Day. She's still alive, you dope. I knew who I was. Burl Ives. Who? There was an old woman who swallowed a fly. Are you sure about that, Sean? Because he only died in 95. How comes you always know stuff like that? Mm, Roy's got a book about famous dead folk. <laughs> well, if I want Burl, then I was someone fabulously gorgeous like uh, Cleopatra. Uh, sorry, I think you found that's me. I was a giant turtle. That's why I can hold my breath for two minutes. Why would you want to? It's amazing, though, isn't it? All these lives all locked into each and every one. All those lessons to learn. <laughs> mm. Well, what lesson have you learnt this time round, then? That love is all that really matters. Oh. You heard Jamie's voice and your face lit up like a Christmas tree. So why the hell are you bothering with this other bloke? Oh, cos we're having a laugh now. Get over it. He's from round here, isn't Oh, Janice, not again. Because when I told you that I recognised his voice, you nearly keeled over. Oh, get a life, eh? Maybe if you had a bloke of your own. If I had a bloke of my own, I wouldn't treat him like you're treating Jamie. He is a decent lad. I thought that you two would settle down and have a couple of kids. That's not a cow just gave me a dirty look, then. You'd better not have done. Oh, hello, Lady Mock. Slumming it today, are you? Now you come to mention it, yeah. Do you mind, my lady wife? A little bit of respect won't go amiss. That clock restaurant, more money than cents. Paying over odds for little piddly portions. I tell you, you had to go to Jippy on way home. We go for quality, not quantity. Radishes carved out like flowers. 
For your information, they were being ironical. Yeah, well, I'm going to get some decent scram tonight. Chicken in a basket at Bingo. Mind you, don't swallow the old basket, though, eh, Lippy? Huh. Imagine if Jamie marries her. We'd be related to that lot. It ain't pretty, love. I'll tell you that much. I've seen people with more integrity on Jerry Springer. in prison, you know. Manslaughter. Any nasty temper. Very protective. <laughs> Did you say that for? Oh, you're having a turn with him now, are you? I beg your pardon. You just remember who you're talking to. Well, I'm sorry, but he was all over you like a rash. Right, well, he's in the back most of the time. <laughs> Well, and when he's not, he's out here manhandling you. Don't be daft. I thought you came here to get away from blokes like him. Do you know, I thought it'd be really boring working here. But I like it, it's great. People come in, they have a little bit of a chat, they get what they want, and then they go. Yeah, well, it's called a shop, that's how it works. Well, yeah, but it won't like that pub, would it? They'd stop all night, and the more ill they poured down the neck, the more boring they got. So he's the only fly in the ointment, then? I can handle the likes of him. Well, I don't know. He seems very keen. Mind you, if that hat doesn't turn him off, I don't know what would. Throw another bicky, will you? Mm. Sure you want to risk it? Hey. Middle-aged man, lovely, lithe girlfriend, barely out of school. <laughs> Fill your boots. Yeah, you don't want to be mistaken for a dad. You're just jealous. Oh. Well, for your information, I have my own love interest, thank you. And at least he's old enough to tie his own shoelaces. Wazzles another bicky. Mm. Sure she's gonna love your belly hanging over your tanga briefs. Hiya! Hello, gorgeous. That your present? Wicked. Oh, Wednesday? Yeah. <sighs> I'd love to. It's dark tonight, isn't it? Oh. Boring old darts in the boozer or a lovely night out with your lovely young girlfriend. Yeah, bin it off, babe. I can't do that. That has to depend on me. Oh. I suppose I should have checked first. Um, well, I know. I'll sell tickets and then I can come and see you play. No, take a mate. It's going to be a good gig. Yeah, but I bought them for you. Look, I know you've gone to a lot of trouble, Kel, and I appreciate it, but I, I can't go. There's no choice in the matter. Right. Well... Won't want to come between you and your darts, would I? Exactly. End up looking like Pinhead. Had a hellraiser. What about Friday, eh? Friday, Friday. Take some with posh. Yeah, whatever. See, that's the trouble with old men. They're set in the ways. That's never Jamie again, is it? Don't he ring you up? Oh, he's really a tense blessing. Uh, don't think I'm skiving around, Mr Baldwin. There's a big jammy cream cake in there with your name on it. Good cup of tea, please, Lee, and uh, you know how I like it. Certainly do. And hurry up, eh, cos I don't pay you to stand around here bunnying all day. Don't fret. Which is a pity, cos you are world-class, love. I work faster with sugar in my veins. Yes, well, hurry up, factory now. Just saying what a lovely lad your Jamie is. Mm, got all to get up and go have a sloth. Very sensitive, kind, thoughtful. And with any luck, life will knock all that nonsense out of him, eh? Yeah, well, I'm just chuffed that our Lee's found such a lovely lad. Thin on the ground round here. And who knows, in the fullness of time, if the wind's in the right direction, he might grow up to be more like his old man. <laughs> That's Dale, dump him. <laughs> Charm it. What's the matter with me? Hey, body like a Greek god. Gift of the gab. Twinkle in his eye. What woman could resist, eh? You're looking at two now. You're breaking me heart, Lippy. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, then, you can escort me back to the factory. Yeah. Uh, Danny, you receive. Thanks, mate. And uh, I'll pay for these and all, eh? Oh, really? Mm. Cheers, Mr. Bold, when you're a star. That's me, Lippy. Generous to a fault, love. Ta-ra. Yeah. 
If you was a rock god. Goddess. A goddess. What would you have in your dressing room? Oh, uh, a crystal chandelier, walls lined with fake fur, and some scotch eggs. Do you know what I'd have in my dressing room? A big bouncy castle. Oh, come here. You're talking me to death. Don't tempt me. Oh, I wonder how much you'd get if he showed up in a body bag. I bet this is how Francis Rossi feels. I've never seen him in a posh shirt and tie. Stuck in a flaming neck brace. 20 years. Day in, day out. And it's all down to me. I've lived most of my life without money. But I can't live without the quo. Walk in there with that attitude and you'll have no chance. He's got no chance anyway. Well, he's got his lucky putter. Can't argue with that. For once in his lives, we can't flame him well loose. They'll have loads of top lawyers lined up. They won't let you get a word in edgeways. Fancy words won't matter, lady. We've got photographic evidence. The only picture I've got of me with the lads. And Francis is sticking one on me. <gasps> Do you want to rot in this flea pit for the rest of your natural? Ha. <sighs> Would you rather be swanning round our fancy villa on Costa del Sol? Oh, he's scoffing me, lucky putter. I hope he doesn't choke him. He's flaming well choking me. 13 years I've had that. You know what this is, don't you? It's a sign. Of what? It's fate, is that? Telling you, put past behind you. It's time to look to the future. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. And I won't take less than 20 quid. I paid loads for these. No way I'm going listening to jazz. Proper messes with your head, that stuff. What about you? You're a more sophisticated bloke. I wouldn't go and see that lot if they were in my own backyard. All right, 10 quid the per. I know you. You're trying to trick me into going with you. Uh, I've got my old fella, actually. And he's a lot fitter than you. He stood her up to go and play darts. Junction star player. <laughs> what can I say? I don't think so. You are? Junction's not even got a dartboard, let alone a team. Looks like Lloyd's been telling porkies. Oh, what am I saying? Ju not the junction, I meant the jockey, you know it's all food. Oh, of course she did. <laughs> what are you going to do? Have a drink. Now, either he's not as keen as he's making out, or he's got another woman on the go. Oh, we could bail here and go bingo. Oh, don't be such a wuss. Have it out with him. We're going out. We'll catch the 84. All right, please yourself. I'm going to have an early night. Oh, Jan, don't go and leave me. Come on, I need cheering up. Why? Apparently there's no wrong. Well, what are you going to do at home this time? I won't be bored. Better warm. Oh! Mr. Bit. <laughs> Hey, you have to have eyes like a hawk round here. Do you dance? Hey, I bet you do. <laughs> I can see you're a lovely little mover. I have my moments. Hey, I'll take you to the tower ballroom if you like. We'll call it a staff outing. <laughs> I move as stately as a galleon me. Do you now? Let me sweep you off your feet, oh, lovely Lizzie. Actually, I prefer Liz. Hey. Dun. I think you and me need to have a little chat. Yeah, you're right. If we're going to get on, you need to keep your hands to yourself. Uh, hey, now, I, I, I'm sorry if I've upset you. See, I've always been a, a very demonstrative person. You're like a flaming octopus. Mm. It's what comes of having a very passionate nature. I don't want to hear any excuses, OK? From now on, when you're near me, you keep your hands in your pockets and your eyes on the floor. That way, you and me will get on just fine. Guess who I just bumped into? No idea. Oh. Oh, go on. Have a little guess. There's millions of people in Manchester. You're going to have to give me a bigger clue than that. All right, then. He's quite a big fan of yours. Oh, well, that could be hundreds of people. Oh, you quite fancy him as well. Elvis Presley? You know very well who. The lovely Phil. Right. And you're going to be so thrilled when I tell you. <gasps> no, Sean. No, you mustn't. I'm sorry, I've been sworn to secrecy. 
Look, come on, you know you're going to blab in the end, so you may as well just get it over with. Well, you must think the world of you, that's all I'm saying. Because when you turn up for your date, you're going to get the thrill of your life. Do I have to come over there and sit on you and get you to beg for mercy? What, and spend the rest of my days in an iron lung? I think oh. not. He's bought you a foot spa. Oh, what do do? You ungrateful, Mayor. Yeah, from the way you were going on, I was expecting a Porsche or a pied de in Hale Barnes. Well, he's bought you a pressy. At least that means he's thinking about you. He's a reflexologist. He probably gets them on the cheek. Oh, look, talk about I'm happy go lucky me. Uh, sorry, I don't do perky or bubbly. You should know that by now. What you need, Eileen, is PMA. Positive Mental Attitude. It's all about, you know, attracting the things that you want, thinking positive thoughts, you know, really focusing. And then you sort of just become a cosmic magnet. So you're saying that if I focus really hard on what I want, it'll come to me? That's it. I asked for a sausage roll. What? What were you like today? Fabulous, just like I always am. There's Janice, biggest gob in Weatherfield, standing half a metre away and you're making a date with her boss. Yeah, no, classic. You. 